Cabello hair styling. I just want to give you a sense of where the heck I'm at. This is Victoria Avenue, downtown. You know where people say there's no parking? Look at all this no parking. Wow. There you go. Myth destroyed. We're going to go inside Cabello right now. This is Victoria Park Place, this giant apartment building just off of University. We're going to head into Cabello and we're going to meet the owner, Rob. He's way up there waiting for me. I just want to give you a quick look around. This is a place that, uh, quite frankly, I never really would have thought existed. You've got outdoor seating if you come in. They always encourage you to get an espresso for free. If it's nice out, you sit outside. They've got their product wall here. But if you want to notice something about this space that's different than most hairstyling spaces is that the interior is incredible. All of this girder work and like the cement walls and whatnot is all retrofit. This is all renovation. So let's just take a quick look around at some of the work being done. It's, it's one of the nicer spaces I've been in down here. It's uh, Yes, look at this. Look at the work being done. I just realized you're catching me. I just want to show you this as well. This is not your average everyday hairstyling place. They've got the turntables here, usually bins of records and such on either side. But this is a really sharp space. So we're going to go upstairs and talk to Rob. It's about that time. <laughs> now, Rob, what's your last name? Corey. Say it, spell it. C O R Y. C O R Y? I didn't know that. Oh, look it. We've known each other because our uh, we went to the same prenatal classes. We had kids <laughs> on the exact same day. We drove past each other in the uh, in the hallway to, to give deliveries. Emergency well, we didn't we didn't do much to emergency C sections. But I knew about you because uh, you've you've got under your employee a buddy of mine, John, and uh, and and the first time I came in here, I just couldn't get around how different it was. You did a lot in this space. It didn't come looking like this. <laughs> no, 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 not at all. <laughs> you, you, you had to renovate to make it look the totally. way you wanted. And, and one of the things we talked about earlier is this urban theme. You have a business downtown because you like cities, you like the downtown, and you wanted this space to kind of have that Inside feel. That. Totally. Steel and concrete. Exactly. So we found, lucky enough, we found concrete walls. Them. Yep. Nothing else to be done. The mezzanine we did put in what we're standing on right now, which mm -hmm. is steel. Uh, we happen to have a uh, steel designer that uh, renovated this place for us. They're actually downtown too. Oh, They're, I did. Uh, Draft Tech. They're in the Chrysler building. I didn't know that. Yeah. I have to go and find them. Yeah, and they detailed it. And they did all the steel work in here, and uh, you've they been, were you, you, you've been, you've been down here a while. So like. You, you really had something in mind because you had been down on Polisher right. and you moved here. So let's let's go back 10 years. You were... 10 years, we were on Polisher renting a space underneath the parking complex there. Yeah, under the um, parking, yeah. Yeah, so that was that was a good start. That was great, you know, get my feet wet, being downtown. Lease the spot. Uh, essentially, the move down here uh, was because of, it was a purchase. Right. So you, you're able to purchase this like a condo exactly. in the base of the Victoria Park Place apartments and condos. And business is good for you. This is one of the things I like talking about when I... <laughs> Jeez, brother, come on. Is that you wood? Know, you know the first I hope rule. that's not concrete and you steel also. the first also. rule of business. No, but the thing is, is uh, you know, the sense of, of business downtown, um, a lot of folks who might have a tough go of it, I think there's a there's an argument to be made for finding your niche and really taking care of your customer in a different way. Obviously, when you come in here, you've got beats bumping, you've got some even electronic music or hip-hop or something that is unoffensive hip-hop, mind you. It's not like your average hair styling space, so you've got something going here no one else has. Yeah. That, that kind of adds up to potential strong business in the downtown or anywhere, right? It does. It does. Obviously, having it, giving somebody something that they don't have or that's not common in the area is a good thing. Yeah. Uh, whether it's uh, a certain hair type or style, I should say, but 
just the environment itself is different. So I think that in itself is a reason to come down here and hang out, you know, you get that vibe. And we do give an urban type of feel with the hair designs we do. All of that, is, it's all part of it. It's all part of the experience. How many people uh, work here? There's eight of us. Eight people. Eight stylists. There's not a lot of businesses downtown uh, that aren't restaurants that have eight employees. Uh, again, that's <laughs> the But that's the type of clientele we gear towards, and those are the type of stylists we also attract. Yes. So we actually have... I have eight spots downstairs. If I had twelve spots, I'd have twelve spots. So right now you're and you're you're pretty you know, you are pretty busy. Every time I come in here, it's not like I ever come in and it's quiet. Yeah. Or there's nothing playing. It's always it, this seems like uh, until you realize that it's here and you come in, it's a it's very lively. There's a lot going on a lot of the time. So you're doing something right. We're doing something right. And, and you're and, enjoying it. Oh, I love it. And that's, I think that's part of it, too. If you have a passion for it, obviously everything else will come, right? Yes. The now, way. when are you open? You close Mondays, We're the only day you're closed. Mondays. Sundays, we are, upon request, we are open Sundays. Um, we do have our certain crew that comes in on a Sunday. But generally, we're closed Sundays and Mondays, open every other day. And the only other thing I think I had to ask you was about these special events. You do off night or evening kind of parties. You do, like, yep. you go and get temporary liquor licenses. You get a DJ in here at, at the, the turntable we saw downstairs. Yeah. And you, you're you doing more than meets the eye. It's not, oh, you get your hair cut there. Yep. Um, no. I'm, and it is a unisex. You do men's and women's hair. Of course. And, uh, but you, you'll do, like, tutorials. You'll teach people how to do certain things with their hair while you have drinks and hang out. We do. We do an event called a blow-dry party. What that entails is... Inviting our clients uh, to come into the salon and we'll actually show them how to do their hair. You know, we'll have some drinks, we'll, it'll be a social atmosphere, have the DJ playing like you said, and just really guide them through on the proper techniques to do their hair so they can have these looks at home. But did you pick this job because of the social aspect? Because like it's, like even even the bar, like the barbershop is a particular, particularly popular stereotype like it's very social but there seems to be like a real specific social group that comes in here people who want to look sharp most of the time <laughs> and who dress well always have oh, good God. shoes on good jeans bad, yeah. on a bad on day a bad says day. give oh. me a break no but it's 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 did you pick this kind of space in the downtown because it, it coincides with all of that with that whole social scene as well because this isn't just a come in don't say anything sit down yeah. get your hair cut go home I do think that it, it does, uh, we do pick it out, but the only thing is, I think when you're in an industry, that department, per se, of this industry, it picks you. You know, you see you, you, you see where you fit in and where you fall into. And this is basically, we're all the same here, we all fall into this category, we're all doing what we love, so guess what? The product's going to come with it, and the people are Oh, Rob. So if someone needs to make an appointment, who? how do they find a stylist? Like, off, off, like... Who do they get first? Um, we do have a level system, so anybody new with it is not a referral. Um, being a referral, they'll go to a certain stylist because they okay. refer to us. But other than that, it's just kind of whichever kind of category you want to. It's by price. I hate saying that. No, no, no. But, but it's that price. totally makes sense. People so who've got a lower got... level is going to be a cheaper price. It's yeah. Be at a higher level, and it's based on experience, right? Absolutely. That makes that makes total sense. Yeah. So, I appreciate Rob doing doing this interview. I just want to uh, show the space one more time. We're saying goodbye to Rob. That's a guy you will see in here basically every time you come in. The address here, again, is 370. I'm going to show you that to remind you. 370. There's my man, John. Let him cut your hair. Sharp dude. 370. Victoria, Cabello, it's a great space to come and visit.